This is the Genesis G80. As part of an advanced driver assistance system, the Genesis G80 may be equipped with smart cruise control and highway driving assist. Highway driving assist helps maintain distance from the vehicle ahead, maintain the set speed, and center the vehicle in the lane while driving on the highway. Smart cruise control works on all roadways, while highway driving assist will activate if the G80 detects that it is driving on a major highway. To turn on or off Smart Cruise Control, or HDA, press the Driving Assist button located on the left side of the steering wheel. When turned on, Smart Cruise Control, or HDA, will set the cruise speed to the current vehicle speed and automatically engage Lane Following Assist. After activation, pressing the Vehicle Distance button will then cycle through four different preset distances that your G80 will help maintain to the vehicle in front. To adjust your set cruising speed, press this switch up or down quickly to alter speed by one mile per hour. Pressing and holding the switch either up or down alters speed in five mile per hour increments instead. Pressing the switch in will temporarily pause Smart Cruise Control or HDA. If you push the switch in again, Smart Cruise Control or HDA will resume at the preset speed. To check that HDA is enabled, press Setup, Vehicle, Driver Assistance, Driving Convenience, and then ensure Highway Driving Assist is checked. If equipped, Highway Lane Change Assist can be enabled or disabled with this checkbox here. Highway Lane Change Assist can help you automatically change lanes when HDA is active and conditions are met. When Highway Driving Assist is activated, you can see its status on the instrument cluster under the Driver Assist view. The HDA indicator shows whether there is a vehicle ahead and the current set distance. When the HDA indicator is green, the system is activated. When the indicator is in gray, it means that it is in standby. When the indicator is blinking white, it means the driver is pressing the accelerator pedal. The set desired speed is shown here, followed by the lane following assist indicator. The next icon shows whether there is a vehicle ahead, along with the lanes that are being detected. When HDA is active, note that your vehicle will begin to slow if the vehicle in front of you does too. However, if the vehicle in front starts moving again within 30 seconds of slowing, your vehicle will start to move as well. When HDA is active and you want to overtake a slower moving vehicle in your lane, Highway Lane Change Assist can be used to change lanes and help maintain your set cruising speed. On the instrument cluster, the green Highway Lane Change Assist indicator shows if the system is ready. When the Highway Lane Change indicator is blinking green, the system is in operating state. When the indicator is in gray, it means that the system is on standby mode. When the indicator is blinking white, it is showing that the lane change has been canceled. You can also tell that Highway Lane Change Assist is ready when the detected lanes become outlined in green. To automatically change lanes when HDA and Highway Lane Change Assist are active and ready, push the turn signal lever down to change lanes to the left or push the turn signal up to change lanes to the right. A green arrow and shaded area will display as the G80 exits its lane and changes lanes to the desired direction. To use Highway Lane Change Assist, the turn signal stalk must be held down for a certain period of time to the first detent position but not past it. Once the green change arrow appears, the turn signal stalk can be released and the lane change maneuver will take place automatically. If you press the turn signal stalk past the first detent, the system will cancel the lane change maneuver. No steering movement or accelerator pedal input is required from the driver to change lanes, although the driver must keep light contact with both hands on the steering wheel. Note that Highway Lane Change Assist requires that both of the driver's hands remain on the steering wheel and the system detects no collision or blind spot detection risks. For more information, be sure to explore the how-to videos on the Genesis USA YouTube channel as well as consult owners.genesis.com and your owner's manual. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the Genesis USA YouTube channel for more great videos and visit genesis.com for more info.